Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, Madea. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101. Check out our YouTube channel. There you'll find all our full-length interviews. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Get all the notifications so you don't miss anything out. Sign up for our membership. Because our membership in the description section below is where you're going to find our membership. That is how we can keep doing what we're doing every single day. There's a link in the description. Just click that, follow the instructions. Everything's going to be gravy. Thank you. And have a good day. Man, check it, man. It's your boy, ECO. I'm in the building. Stop playing, man. We down here in Meridian, Mississippi. Boss Talk 101 in Mississippi for the first time recording, getting down. Y'all know how we do. We was in New York last week. We was in Chicago in November. We was in Atlanta about a month ago. It's going down, man. We trying to make sure y'all understand, man. We coming to a city near you. But today we got a special, special guest. He don't need no introduction, man. Well, maybe he do, man. <laughs> it, it, this is this, this guy right here, man. Get it blue. Pull it up on Boss Talk 101. And he about to pull up and let us know what's really going down. So, See that southern talk was really going down. <laughs> Speaking to the bike, big dog. Yeah, man. Man, hold up, man. Hold up, man. Man, that boy Ray got that. You hear him? Hold up, man. If you gonna, I'm gonna start off different today. Go if ahead. you were gonna start off with a 16 bar uh, uh, acapella, what would you say? Give me some. Disgusting, disgusting, gruesome crime scenes, me and my cousin. Used to do what we do to accumulate something. By any all means, gotta keep the trap bucking. Bitches moaning in the background, actually fucking. The gagging macaroni sound, a bitch sucking. Phone ringing, hello, what you doing, nigga, nothing. Now swallow that, don't follow back. Why your baby daddy Instagram thugging? A giant, he's a button. I wouldn't push, I'd be a damn fool. He'd be stiffer than the tree, laid out like a creep. Man, hold up. I said 16 bars, nigga. You gonna come through? That was, that was like an eight or Nigga, you, you were trying to go in, wasn't you? <laughs> nigga, boy, that's what I'm talking about, man. I come down here to Mississippi to come find you. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Thank you, man. Have you ever heard of Boss Talk 101 before? Come on, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's get it, Mr. Jamaica. Get out on this nigga. So you were born and raised in Mississippi? I was uh, born in Meridian, but I was pretty much raised all over. On the northeastern side of Lauderdale County, mm -hmm. Russell, Tumba, Sumba, I'm from that area. Mm. The Hold country. On. Your phone on. Your phone needs to be on silent. All right. I know. I keep hearing. I got you. She real serious about oh, phones man. being on silence and all that, man. Yeah, straight on. up, straight up, straight up and down, man. Stop <laughs> playing, man. Yeah. It's going down though. Uh, so, so um, were you raised in a household with your mom and dad present? Oh yeah, I raised uh, by my mother, father, seven children. Seven? Seven of us. I'm my next. mom and dad. My dad got uh, six. My mom got three. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And together, they got the three together? They or got two. Just, two it's together. just me and my youngest brother together. Okay, so she but had see, one outside and he had yeah, a whole bunch yeah. outside. But see, like we don't say half brother, half sister. If you my brother, you my brother. If you my mm -hmm. sister, you my sister. Ain't no half uh it's like you my brother, you my sister. Mm, I yeah. like it. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. I lost a sister two years ago. How so old was she? She was 34, 35. From somewhere. what? Because she's young. A lot of, yeah, you know, addiction problems, mm, complications. Drugs. Yeah. And that be a motivation and inspiration to just stay on a straight path, especially mm -hmm. I got these kids. I got a right. wife and three kids. Wow, so you trying to do it the right yeah, way. Yeah, I used to be out there, but you know, I done seen both sides. Mm -hmm. I done seen enough to know that if I'm not taking care of myself, how I'm gonna take care of my family. Right, so um, you look like you mix. Your mama white, daddy white. My parents are black. They're black. They're yeah, just light skin. You just light skin. You look <laughs> like you mix, nigga. Okay, I my granddaddy, you, great granddaddy, ah! he white. 
So it's coming up from up there. I thought I, yeah, I thought I, I seen told it. it. Yeah, yeah. See, I got back for yeah. you, but I know exactly where it came from. I knew what was going well, down. Yeah, I got some. I got some. I'm mixed all up, but like majority though, my parents are. Yeah, they black. Okay, just yeah. check it. So you the only yeah. light skin? Yeah, me and my I got a I got an older brother with green eyes. Ooh. Yeah, green eyes, but like. Yeah, I got some. It's some white in there now. <laughs> it's some in there. I'm from, the, I'm from the south. Either you jet black or you or you mulatto. Right, right. I haven't heard slave a lot of people call that in, up here. Slave master and dipped in and out somewhere. Mm hmm. Yeah, because we ain't that far from that ancestry. But you blessed to be able to have your mom and dad raise you, though. Yeah, you know I, that? I grew up in the church, grew mm. up in the choir. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, I used to have to lead songs. Be what the, song was did you lead? Oh, Happy Day, y'all. Let me hear it, let me hear it. Come on, man. Oh, Happy Day. So you can day. sing, Look sing? At that, I don't really. Oh, Happy I Day. I ain't really tapped into that on the musical side. But when I'm by myself, on my way to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, 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 close your eyes. Let me hear it. Nah, I can't. <laughs> say, so no. let's, let me ask no, you. Well, I still had a question about, okay, so you say your daddy and your mama was together. But he had some <clears> outside <throat> kids. Did he have the outside kids while he was I with your mama? <laughs> Papa was, was a rolling role? stone. Yeah. But he had them while he was with well, her? Oh, uh, I ain't trying to be too technical. I was born in 89. They got married in 87. Okay. So I'm thinking somewhere around in that time, he was like, hey, it's, I was I was the first born in the wedlock. Oh, that's why I was trying to see. Or were Me you and my under? younger brother, we was, okay. it was just us two. But like on weekends, I get to see my other brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, and we was never told like, I'm going to get your half brother. I'm going to get your half right. sister. Now I'm going to get your brother. I'm going to get so your So y'all the babies? Yeah, I'm the babies. Okay, so after y'all. But I'm like the big brother of, of the of the bunch. Okay. So he was good after y'all then. He didn't, he didn't really roll the stone was, after I that. I ain't trying to put him out there. Well, he was still not rolling around, but like we used to go to the club with him. Really? I could still smell. It's a club called 493. Uh, I could still smell how that place smelled. The pool table, the the boiled eggs, uh, and vinegar. Boiled eggs and vinegar. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they used to do them like that. Yeah, that's how they eat. at a nightclub. That's how they eat them? Yeah, you be drinking and you you just throw it back. Boiled eggs. Yeah, a, whole, a boiled egg and vinegar. Why? Pickle eggs. Is pickle what eggs. They call is what they pickle call. eggs. Pickle eggs. Pickle pig feet. But why eat that while you're drinking? Does it do something with the I, alcohol? I don't. I just. I or just, just country. Just country. Yeah, just some country type stuff, like you know. But I remember going with him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So y'all were real close. Oh, I'm close to my parents. I talk to him every day. Every day. Let me, every day. Let me ask you, what did they think when you end up get, catching that case? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, how much did that hurt them? Man, look. When I uh, that's a good question. And how old were you? I was 21. Okay. Um. Uh, I went to court for like two or three years, not knowing that the piece of paper they give me every time they come in there and say, it'll be January, and they say, well, your next court date's in May. It's a piece of, it's a, on the paper. When you sign it, on the bottom it says, I have waived my right to a speedy trial. Mm. So it was me prolonging it, giving these people time to, you know, you know, ignorance to the law is zero tolerance. I and never the, knew you that. don't learn all this stuff till you didn't went in, and you come out and be able to help somebody else. For like, hey, that paper you signing, yeah, you waiving your rights. You don't have to sign it. But I went to court for years, and then I was eventually, uh, I took it to trial, found guilty, assessed, turned record. it up. Oh yeah, like we're going to trial. We're going to trial. I was uh, convicted of, found guilty, accessory after the fact of murder. Wow. Crazy story, as far as like, you know, because um, uh, how many years you got? Finna get to it. Okay, I think the guy they charged with murder, his uh trial was in February, March, and at that time it was a, a whole nother law. I don't know if it said you had to Google it. I don't know if it says after the fact the murder was getting 10, 15, 20 years. <clears throat> so they came to me. They was like. You can't go to court with him because he's being tried with this. You being tried with that. Those are two different court dates. So he ended up uh, going to trial, losing, getting like 30, 35 years. And uh, when it was time for me to go to court after June the 1st, I don't know a lot of people know, but June the 1st of every year, the laws change. Yeah. 
July the first, I meant. Well, July the first, twenty fourteen. You can Google this. They in Mississippi, the law was changed to zero to five. So when I go to trial, and not knowing this, because I was told twenty years is what I'm facing if I lose. Okay, so but I got faith. I got so much faith, and I was just going through so much, being afraid of being taken taken to prison. I've seen a lot of street stuff, but I've never been in the system. Okay, so after July the 1st, the law changed. I go to court September 29th, 2014. Uh, October the 1st, I was found guilty of accessory after the fact of murder. Damn. And they was like, okay, so we got to come back for a sentence here. And you thought you was going to get how much time? About 20. About 20. About 20, bro. I was... You was you was like damn. Yeah. And like, when you say accessory after the fact of murder, meaning like somebody else murdered, but then you helped him. Well, I'm not gonna go too. Often, I'm just trying. To but say, like accessory after the fact means that it can go in many ways. It can be the way he do something, and that night he tell you about it, and you don't report it. Okay. And he get he confessed to it, and they say, "Who all you told?" I told my wife. Mm -hmm. You not charged with accessory after the fact because you knew about it. But it can go in many ways on how you can get charged with burglary, grand larceny. It's all on it's how you did it. You know what I'm saying? But I was charged with accessory after the fact. Uh, a guy said that I was there and saw it. And that was enough for them to just be like, you involved. Wow. What do you know? Oh, you don't want to talk. Well, they, we finna take you to trial. Now, if you go to the trial, you're going to lose. Go on, take this plea. They presented me a Florida statute plea. Google it. Saying that... Uh, I'm guilty, but I'm not guilty. I just want to go ahead and plead guilty and get this over with, cause I don't want to. I don't want to snitch. I'm just going to do the Florida statute plea. I'm guilty, but I'm not guilty, so I can just go home. And you wouldn't have got no time. You could have got no time. It was non adjudicated. I could have easily just went home. Yeah, but I took it to trial and lost. You can Google Charlie Henderson versus the state of Mississippi, and it's the full rundown. Your, your emotional discovery can be found. Ain't no, you can't just make up no story about what really happened when people can go and read your case. And how much time did you, did they? The law changed after July the 1st, zero to five. So when my Senate, I got locked up October the 1st, 2014. I think November the 16th or somewhere in that week, I ended up going for a Senate hearing to find out how much time I'm finna get. One guy stood up and said, uh, the judge said he was found guilty 20 years. The same DA who was going against me stood up and said, we can't do it to him. The law was changed. The Mexican only get his five years. But the judge wanted to give you 20. The judge, because he was going off the old law. But the law had just changed a lot of first. Right. So they was like, we can't do it. We can only give him five years. Mm-hmm. So you only got five years. That's when God worked a mysterious way come in. And, but That's God right. know my heart throughout the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? So you end up getting five? I end up getting five years, two suspended, three to serve. It was my first offense. Wow. So I end up doing two years and ten days after three years. Wow. And where did you go? <clears throat> I was in Greene County. I started <coughs> off in, um, when you in the county jail, they say it's a train coming. Yeah. The train coming. They said the yeah. train will come after midnight. Yeah, you got you got get yeah, they try they had your stuff ready. So when they, when he stopped, I went from Lauderdale County to uh in Mississippi processing is in Jackson. You gotta go through Rankin County. What y'all mean by the train? Y'all gotta break it down to the train, train is coming it's a, and all that. Like a, you feel like to like catch a, the bus. You feel to catch the it's the bus it's a bus coming with all the inmates. Okay. And they come to pick you up. But the terminology or the slang the uh, slang would be uh the train, the train coming after coming. midnight. Okay. And it's coming. It's coming, and you 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 own it. Yo, they wake you up. And like, you come nervous? On. Oh, you don't and it know. It does come in after midnight. You don't know. Now, it, it, Hills might have just come at night, but it come. It when it's coming, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. And you don't know what you're going to expect. You don't yeah, know. You don't know where you going. What ran through your head that night when they told you? Man, look. Okay, it was more of a relief after I'm like, okay, it's not twenty. It's I'm facing this, but seeing my people. My dad was like, "Hey, if you do this, bro, I'm behind you." You don't have to do this. Because I didn't have to take it to trial. I could have right. just... And went home. I could have just took a plea and went home. Were they mad at you? Oh, it was more of like, what are you doing? Why? Just take the plea. Mm -hmm. 
But you know, when you out there, you sign up for a lot of stuff. And a lot of people ain't gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah. You know, when you if you sign up for if you if this is what you signed up for, make sure you do everything what you signed up for. Don't don't switch up now. Mm-hmm. Don't switch up now. And it was just a crazy situation, but God knows my heart. God knew what you know what I'm saying. So I ended up where some people just like get a snitch. You don't if if I'm glad we talking about this for the people who saying this. If you snitch on someone. You don't go to trial unless right. you're going to trial to testify. If I'm the guy that they're in here trying to convict, I wouldn't be in here going to trial if I snitched or took a plea. I just had this conversation with D. Haven, uh, Jay Z home, Jay Z yeah. friend that he grew up with, right from New York. Yeah, yeah, and he said the same thing. He took it yeah. all away. Yeah, bro. and he said they tried to say like he snitched, but they couldn't. You know. It, of course, he said Jay said it in songs and all that alleged. Right. Well, not alleged. They, they, they were saying it in songs. Right, saying the man but snitch. he took his stuff all the way to trial. Yeah. So he had no reason to snitch. And see, if you go on the trial, if you snitch, the, the, you just help them save money. It, there is no trial. Mm-hmm. We got them. It's paperwork need to be filed. That's now. right. And if you tell them someone, it's it gonna will be, be in the paperwork. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you snitch, they don't want to go to trial because they don't want to go to trial anyway and yeah. spend that money. Like they don't. They don't want. So therefore, if they have to take you to trial, you lose. They finna throw the book. They at trying you. to beat you because they you spending the state's money, mm-hmm. and they trying yeah. to get. They trying they to get bury at you. It, try they to bury try, it. Yeah, they finna try to get you. But back to what I asked you about when you when you left, what was your mind state? What I didn't you? know what to expect. I come from a neighbor. I come from, I come from where it's all blue. It's a crypt territory. And I, I know that, I know that when you separated from who you run with, it's a whole another ball game. It ain't no. I'm finna call the homies. I'm finna do this. My boy got me. Your boy ain't here. So my the only thing I'm going through my mind was like, I hold up for myself. But when it comes down to different games, if I can go back to when I first walked through the door and they asked what you represent, where you from, I would have said nothing. Cause I now I ain't gotta be involved with what everybody else got going on. Because when he slipped, they calling me over here. Come on, this your boy. Come on. So what did you tell him you represent? I when I first came through the doorway, you know they were just like you crip blood, GD of Vice Lord, and I'm crip. You know what I'm saying? I don't live the lifestyle to where you'd be like, oh, get it out there, gang bang, get it doing this. When Getty had kids, when Getty went to prison. <laughs> and got, came home, and I met the lady I'm married to now six months later. And a dude prophesied over that. I was locked up crazy about some other chick. And he said, man, forget her. Man, God going to bless you with a woman more crazy about you than you would about this other lady. And I met her six months after I came home, and I've been with her ever since. Wow. And so you get to <clears throat> prison that first day when they ask you that. When the first time you run into some trouble where the third they, night they try to approach you? The third night. It was the third night. I was uh in Quick Bay, uh, Rankin County. And a dude woke me up. He said, Hey, I got two youngsters back here who wanna square up with you. And just see where you at. That's testing you. Yeah, but th- now it's at that point to where now you can't show no fear. Because I didn't, when I, I'm walking through the doorway and I see guys who showing fear, you vulnerable. Give me this. They show they mind nothing. And I never went for nothing like that. Not going. I'm not going for nothing like that. So I went on back. Got I had I had a little youngster hit me real hard. They humbled me. I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you fight both of them or just? I uh, fought two guys at, at the, the same, same time. time. At the same time. That why they why they it's just like I'm not gonna go too deep off into it, but Mississippi prisons is a is a it's hell, bro. It's hell, bro. Like I used to wake up some days and be like, "Damn, I'm still in here." Did they transfer you to any other prisons outside oh, yeah. of Mississippi? Oh, no, it was it was all Mississippi. It was state. It was state. When you doing okay. fed time, that's when you bounce around. That's right. When you doing state time, you're in the state. But the reason why I asked you that because you said Mississippi prisons are hell, but you really don't know any other prison to know the I know difference. A, I know enough to to well, you know what's right for being humane and like the conditions. No prison is humane. 
Like that's not true. Well, see, you Which got one? they you got, got a lot of prisons that's like uh, pre releases. They got a lot of a lot of prisons that's that's pretty much uh, um, walk in the park prisons where yeah. they 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 pretty much treat you good. It's Maybe a, all the stories we've been hearing is nah, always you got been some state bad prisons. Ones. You, you got, got state, state jail prisons. You got prisons that's co ed. There's all type of prisons. Yeah. So every prison's gonna have its ups and downs, right. but it's just the prison that you hit. Most of the time, I know with Texas is 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 is, is dirty. Texas is a whole nother ball game. Yeah. Texas falls in that same category. They ain't playing no game. Did you just see what they had? Jay Z, Beyonce, Jay Prince when everybody was petitioning against uh, Parchment Prison. Mm -mm, I didn't Mississippi see. Mississippi State Penitentiary. Mm -mm. Yeah, people getting uh, sick off mold when it rains, it floods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then they had a, it's a lot of stuff that goes on in that movie Life. Eddie Murphy and mm -hmm. uh, that's based off of. Parchment, Mississippi, the prison. Mm. I didn't know it was all okay. Yeah. So when you when you so tell us about the gun line, boss. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they, they in Mississippi. Is that a real? That's real. Parchment, the prison. No, I'm talking a gun line. I'm quite sure it was. I mean, it, it was sure. in the back in the old days, no way, back I'm in the like, day. Like I'm quite I'm, ain't no telling them. But let's talk about the fact of of you in there. Okay, now you didn't you 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 done a year or so. Wow. Um, how your books looking? Oh man, my mama, my mama she took care of you. My mama really made my parents. Yeah, cause some niggas in there ain't getting nothing, bro. I'm I'm every week. I make sure I had me chips, honey buns, all the noodles, all the new meats. I got all that. You you yeah you yeah show oh, dice yeah. in there. Uh, all type of stuff, man. You know, cause it's, you can make them dice out there. Out, out, the, out of tissue. tissue, out of tissue, yeah, and just number it and let it roll. So I you seen you a lot shoot? of. I'm a no, not really because I, I I'm janky. What about the um, uh, tattooing? You ever make you some of that? I, man, the, I the got plastic, this the hard from, plastic. This come from uh, foam plates. Forks, That's right. That's right. And they set up a funnel. That's right. And let it smoke. Top it off. Let it smoke and get that smut. Mix it with some baby oil. You got you some ink. I used to sell it. Does it does yeah. it take longer when you get a tattoo done that way compared to just out of a tattoo no, it's gun? About, it's about, about, it's about, it's about the same. saying you can you can pick you can pick <clears throat> if you're picking is it's not gonna be as good as if right. you get a gun in there. I even did a couple little pokes on myself. You did some stressed picking. out. Stressed out. Just yeah, I did some picking. Just did some picking myself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's a whole. But in there, you may have like a light fixture up there. With some type of battery or generator. Yeah, on. and you change. Man, you finna see a white boy go up, get it, come down, he gonna, come back out. He got a gun. He gonna make a gun out of it. Yeah, take Not, a, a, a tattoo gun. Yeah, mm. take a, a ink pen that click, and take the spring out and beat it straight, and you got yourself a needle. That's wow. right. I done seen a guy split his hand from here to here, and another guy get a needle, make a needle, and, and stitch it up, and take some uh, the threads off a t shirt and just. Make a big old ball of uh, thread and stitch it up. He didn't want to go to the infirmary. If he go though, it's on. He can't do that. It, 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 that's why so I say if he, I never heard that story. You gotta before. keep your mouth shut. Yeah, yeah. Like that's why I say when you sign up for certain things, yeah. you can't flip the script at the last minute. You can't. So in the penitentiary, a lot of people get hurt. Seriously oh, hurt, and you don't go to. And don't even oh, talk about and it. And don't go to the infirmary. Oh, it's, yeah, it's. You gonna have to damn near be dead to be yeah. going down to that damn infirmary and people incident. talking. I had an mm. incident to where I got jumped on by ten eleven guys and poked it. And the reason why I say, oh, like, you know, when you sign up for that type of stuff, you can't jump up and be like, oh, girl, I got him. You know, it's this is it, it's what come with it. Don't be the ups and downs. We talk about all this stuff in these rap songs, but like I heard UGK speak on it for like, what about when this right here happens? That's true. Or like, I'm telling you to, hey, be real in this song and make sure you do this, make sure you keep your gun with you and you're a convicted felon. When you get caught with it, or if you get caught with it, you know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother pressure. When you stop and you wanna like, damn, like, do I, what do I do? That's why I bet to stay clean and square. Yeah, I don't like looking over my shoulders no more. No, it's, it, that's over with after you get a certain yeah. age and you already, and oh, the yeah. wisdom kick in. Oh yeah, like. Um, you got kids? I got three kids. I got a. My oldest son will be 10 this year. I got a five-year-old and a four-year-old. So it ain't no time to play games. I don't play the radio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play, period, bro. I don't. I play with my kids. Well, like, I, 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 like the, I like your attitude, and I, yeah, I, I just asked you about that. 
because somebody else is having to go to prison right now, you know, and or, or facing time. I've, I've interviewed a lot of people that was here uh, facing murder charges, running from the police. I've right. had them on Ball Star 101. Right. And that's what I do. I, I'm, I gravitate to the people who right. are going through stuff so somebody else can see it. Voices. And then they can see you and their right. story. They can get help. Some right. people don't open up. They don't know how to talk. Man, you know what? If I can say anything, especially to the youth, it's guys, don't get me wrong, it's guys my age. I be 35 this year. Mm. So it's guys my age and older who's just as dumb as guys who younger. That, no, that's true. You know what I'm you saying? You see that a lot. It's locked a lot, up. Bro. You seen that? Oh, you seen niggas 60, 50 act like they 70. 20. Yeah. And 70. Yeah, this you know is, you, you, like, because when you locked up, you you breaking down character. That's all you got that's to do. That's all you can do. So you looking at, and, and that's why you can meet people now and you can look at them and you already done broke them down because you study because you know your life depend on it I just study people you hear what I just said yeah Yeah, survival skill that's why that's why we like we are I'm telling you yeah and 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 I I tell my wife all the time. See, so put that nigga in front of him. I'm gonna know him in five minutes. Uh, quickly, yeah, it quickly. could be a minute. I, you can't all put him in got, front of him. All he got to do is spit, talk for a couple minutes. We gonna know. And I'm gonna know this guy because <laughs> we done seen the character. And if I done been in the area for too long, I can pretty much the, just tell where he's from. Like I'm from Mississippi. I can tell if a guy's from Jackson. It's just something about it. Yeah, you gonna know if he's from the coast, the Delta. You gonna know. I'm just gonna know, bro. I like that, and it's the truth, and, yeah, and yeah, yeah. that's what I I I think. Shout out to Money Moses, man, Free Money Moses, my my co-host, my other co-host, Free Money Moses. Yeah, he got he just got a stint, and he'll be home in a minute, and we gonna we gonna show love till he get back on the show. Um, uh, he been with me ever since I started this. That's what's up, bro. And uh, that's what you on see. See, I know why God got me in this because right. I get with the people like you. I'm with the real ones. That's right. why you see the. All the OGs and all them pulling up, you like this nigga Hard E. Hitters. This nigga E got them on here. This <laughs> nigga E know him. <laughs> Cause it, I come from it. I'm right. being real, and I love y'all. You know right. what I'm saying? I don't know. Kind of. It, it's because y'all look like me, and I know you're trying to do right. Right. We ain't trying to deal with these busters who still trying to get caught up. We trying to help to pull our right. kids out the fire. Yeah. And I say our kid because the young niggas is our kid. Right. That's when you exactly look at the right. 18s and they going, bro. Right. And if we don't snatch them out, who going to snatch them out? Ain't nobody going to snatch Why them out. Why did Getty Blue go through this situation? Because it's right. another young nigga that you can pretty much snatch out that fire. Right. You can tell him something that can make him not bump his head is hard. Right. And that's real why talk. I rock with you. You know what I'm real saying? Talk, that's bro. some real, that's some real conversation, yeah, real yeah, spill. Yeah. You know, that's what boss talk about, I'm telling you. Right. Before everything else, I had niggas try to get on here by rap, I'd be like, okay, I don't want that nigga on here. Right. And, and the last thing nigga said to me, nigga called me out, he was south of North Carolina. He said, man, you know, I did nine years in prison. I ain't been home for two months. I said, nigga, you should have started with that. Right. Yeah, I said, uh, because I want that story to help somebody, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't need them nigga on here. You, yeah, right. you can rap. That's, everybody rap, nigga. Yeah, but you know, when it, you know, you got some guys who can't rap, bro, but they so rock solid. That's it. And they and they stand for something, and they pushing a message with how they move and. And that's what make you like somebody. Exactly. Well, this guy I was just talking about is. I don't know about his rap, but I know his story would have got my attention more right. to help somebody else that might yeah. watch the show. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of our right. black people, man, when you was in Mississippi, what's the percentage of black people in the Mississippi prison versus the white and the Hispanic? Man, I think the, out, out of my whole two years and 10 days, I probably ran into maybe 100 white boys, four, 5,000 blacks. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Because it's mostly geared toward that. So oh, yeah. that's why I'm trying to get us on here oh, so yeah. we can talk about that. Right. When I get, so, yeah, that that's what I'm rocking with. Right. Uh, period. If I can say anything, man, I'll tell you, youngster, man, you, don't, don't, don't try to be cool. Just be cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. Yeah, because it, it, it gets stressful when you're trying to impress this guy, you're trying to do this, and you get in trouble trying to live up to the other guy's standards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was a man. I'm tell you, so I grew up in the church. I just chose to run with thugs and gangsters. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. That's what. That's what hurt my people. Cause they know you could do better. And my dad always told me. He said, "Man, I told you. I, I I I been through this. You know what I'm saying? And what really got to me though is talking to him when I was in the penitentiary. Talking to him, he like, "Yeah, I'm good. Everything all good." And my sister was like, "Yeah, he cried all Sunday." 
Because he miss you. And my daddy is yeah. solid, rock solid. One of those tough old school. Hey, right? but he be doing all that. You chewing gum in the church, pop his hand already right there. Catching but he the just gum. Didn't, want, he didn't want you in there. No, that's a. So, no. and that changed you a lot too. Oh, all, all that, bro. All that. Especially when one day I was, uh, my daughter was just born. She was born in 19. And the way she was just looking at me was like, you got me, right? Wow. You got me. Yeah, and people still call me to the day for like, well, yeah, pull up, pull up. I'm out with my kids. Already. Mm -hmm. Hey, taking care of them kids, gangster. Let's, let's go to the club. I'm taking them to the aquarium like three hours yeah. away. Yeah, that's more That's more gangster than uh, anything you bro, know. I don't, like, why don't you can't come to me for like, man, they, they, you ain't cool no more. You ain't, man, you get jumped on talking like this. <laughs> Listen, man, riots. Being locked up, not knowing where you're going to be shipped to when they tell you it's time to get oh, on that man. chain. All these different things. Even uh, having g uh, girls, the guards thinking you're cute, all that's cool. But ain't nothing more gangster than taking care of your oh, kids. Yeah. You hear me? Ain't nothing more gangster than going to the aquarium with your kids. Right. Ain't nothing more gangster than going to Jamaica with your kids. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't all that me. other stuff. It ain't, gonna it ain't nothing. Nowhere, I done seen niggas fight. We we used to have fight to your bleed parts. Right, yeah, yeah. But I'm telling you, ain't none of that stuff more gangster. Take care of your kids. Than being with family and taking care of your kids. But I had to get to this point. Right. I wasn't always here. Oh, you had to get molded in shape. Come on now. So oh, I, yeah. I, I I definitely commend you, man. I respect you, hey, man. So, bro, I appreciate and like that. I said, I know you got some music. Any new music coming up? Man, I'm actually I'm in Texas uh doing a lot of stuff. And I'm uh I done dropped a couple tracks. But you know, I, I move different. I feel you. You know, me being on this on this uh, interview is is a major leap. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because now I can let them know Get It Blue. You can look <laughs> it up. Just just Google Get It Blue. Hey. Just type in Get It Blue. I'm on all platforms. Probably all uh, anything on your app. You know what I'm saying? But I'm dropping stuff. But right now we just pushing single by single. Which is a smart thing to do, too. Yeah, I'm just pushing singles right now. And, you know, when it gets to a point where they're like, who's this nigga? Oh, yeah, here you go. It's, and your push project. It's ready now. You know what I'm saying? But right now, it's I got I got a single out called Buffalo Billow, produced by Twisted Genius. You ever heard of Twisted Genius? Mm -hmm. He's out of Atlanta. He, uh, he signed a QC. He, uh, That's hard. Yeah, my cousin is a multi... What's what's the word I'm looking for? Tacity? Uh... uh a uh, multi-platinum producing. He's a producer, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, he's stone cold with it. And even though who signed the QC, and uh, when it comes down to beats, you know, we got it locked in a certain way, but uh, I got a single out called Buffalo Builder, produced by Twisted Genius. Okay. And another single called Tomb Super Day, come from the Tomb Super area. And it was something about writing this song, it was like an anthem type. Mm. I wanted to... No matter where I got this, Biggie from Brooklyn. He had the he got some Brooklyn. You know, everybody you represent where you from. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh so Toon Summer Day, that's another single out. And I got another one coming out called uh Nobody. Future the artist out of uh Texas. My OG. And uh I got a lot of stuff coming, man. But I actually be helping schooling guys on getting their registration, doing this the right way, because we not finna do a song and you blow up. And I gotta hunt you down. We finna do it the well. If we do this song and you blow up, I'm, I'm I have no choice but to it's be just contacted. business. It's business, bro. It's so business. anybody they be all get it, acting funny. Now nah, let's do this paperwork and let's get money. That's I big. got kids, bro. I feel like a fool just up here rapping like I was in middle school. I'm finna come to your house and do a song. Yeah, let's. You got an IPI number? Are you? Are you? You got a be on my ass cap number? Like this. Let's do it that way. Business. Wow. Let's do Thank it that you, way, man. man. How can people get a hold of you if they're trying to rock out with you? Oh, uh, man, you trying to get a hold of me, man. You can uh, look up Freeway. Go to www.freewayrecordsllc.com and just tap in. Man, how, how important has Galen been in your life? Man, look, I was working for myself. I had met him in 2016. And years later, I was working for uh, a water company, reading water meters. And I was like, man, this for the birds. So I quit. I quit my job to go work for myself. So I went to an all-white country club in Meridian and tried to open up a restaurant and bar. I made it pretty far. Racism is real. Mm -hmm. And I, they just kind of like tried to boot me out the way. But in the midst of all that, 
I posted a video on Instagram. I'm like, check out the bar, check out the ballroom, check this out. That's when Big G tap in for like, what can I do to help you? I was like, bro, just be in my corner. I don't know what the hell going on. I got the lease, I got this and this, but I really don't know what to. And from that day to now, he's my mentor. He's the, the one I go to for like, hey, I got this paperwork. Oh, this how you do it. This how you do it like this. Forward it to me. Let me read it. But like, yeah. That's hard, man. Yeah. Thank God for it, man. Shout out to G, man. He down here doing things. Yeah. We had a good time down here with Galen, man. He one of the reasons that I pulled up, man. He right. called me. I came, man. Shout out to all the people that came out last night, Bubba Dub, all my partners, man. Right. Scruncho, uh, Freeway Ricky Ross, you know sure. what I'm saying? Everybody was in the building. Shout out to Freeway Rick. Yeah, man. It's going down, man. Thank God for Boss Talk 101. Boss talk, baby. What a boss is dope. And we out. Hey.